So at this point in time, we have our drums going, we have our instruments sequenced, we have our bass line going for the verse and the chorus, and we can finally start thinking about an arrangement. Um, so as always, this is going to be done using scenes, and I'll go ahead and delete my scenes that I have created just for, uh, for working on this project and start actually creating the scenes that I want to arrange the final, the final track. Um, so I'm going to start with my first scene here, and uh, this is just going to be an intro one, so we'll start with my main uh, bare bones pattern here. And after that, we can go ahead and think about what we want to bring in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in, let's see, the additional strings. Yeah, that sounds good. And the drums, let's see, do I want to bring those in yet? That is going to be uh, a quite a jarring transition if I just bring the drums in immediately. Um, so what I'll do here, um, this is a cool trick that I get a, a lot of questions about, is how to uh, sort of do a filter sweep on just one pattern of the drums. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate my drum group, the entire group, down to a new one. And on this group, I'm going to go to the end, go ahead and load up a filter from the effects list. Let's see, where did I go buy it? Um, where is the filter? There it is, filter. And instead of having um, this one play, I'm going to go ahead and remove this pattern and instead play a pattern here. Let's get the filter as I want it. So I'm first just going to record some notes here. Let's do a pattern of four bars long and record uh, just a drum and a kick. Uh, a, a kick drum and a snare, I mean. I don't know what I just said. Kick and a snare. Pattern, I don't know what's going on here. Delete, new pattern, four bars long, and record. Okay, let's try this. And now that I have this recorded, I'll go ahead and do a filter sweep. And so now that I have this pattern loaded up, I can go ahead and duplicate the scene and then go uh, remove this pattern here from the filter drums i remove that and go to my regular drums and bring that in. So in this way, we have a filter sweep just on that one pattern, and then that's going to transition into the regular drums without any effects. Um, so let's see how that sounds. There we go, we have a nice little introduction for the drums. And, and this is something that you should be able to work with as you're arranging. Um, be flexible and ready to create more patterns and edit your existing ones to make things flow along as the, as the track progresses. Um, so I'm also going to bring in the bass with this. And I might save the strings for a future scene. So I'll duplicate that and then just change this and bring in the strings. And after we have this going for a little bit, we can go ahead and create a chorus scene. Um, so I'll go ahead and choose, uh, let's do the one with everything playing. And I also uh, forgot to record my ride cymbals here. So I'll go ahead and do fixed velocity quite quiet down here. And 
and I'll just add these symbols. And I do that quite a bit. I add some ride symbols to the chorus. And to me, that just sort of uh, is a way to distinguish the verse from the chorus um, using just the drums. Um, it's not very loud. It's pretty much in the background. Um, it can also help put it further in the background by going, let's see, let's go into the channel and uh, send this to group. Uh, there we go. And that will add some reverb. Uh, make sure I didn't mess up any of this. Okay. Um, so anyways, I'm, I'm just sounding, I'm sending the sound aux output to my reverb, and that's just going to add some reverb over here uh, to the ride symbol. Bring the volume down. And there we go, we have a chorus. I'll go ahead and duplicate the scene. Maybe go back here and change my pattern to the one without strings. No, that doesn't sound good. Um, I'll leave it as it was. Um, so I was just going to play this twice, and then we'll go back. Uh, and this one will start with, let's do just the, uh, the main one here. And it's also a fun to, let's duplicate this pattern and then get rid of everything except the kick and the snare. Let's clear those. I make sure I went to my bass pattern here. Yeah, so these are the two chorus scenes. Forgot to add in my bass. So as you can see, this is a lot of uh, back and forth work here. I'm um, just making sure everything is as I want it. Um, but like I was working on, I was back on the, the scene after the first chorus. It's going to be a pretty stripped down one there, and then on the one following this, I will bring in the strings, I'll bring in the drums, and I'll bring in the bass. And then I'll just duplicate that to have it play again, and then on this one, let's do the chorus the chorus, and the chorus bass. So we're just building this track up from the, the blocks that we created, sort of the foundations that we created with each of our patterns. Um, make sure to keep transitions in mind. Um, I'm not doing a very good job of this at the moment, but um, I would do a lot of uh, effects and sort of some melodies that may come up to the to the start of the chorus. And also I like to use reverse crash cymbals a lot. Um, I don't have one loaded up right now and I don't want to go through the process of working that out at the moment. Um, but if you have a reverse crash starting at the end of your verse and then it carries over into the beginning of your chorus, that can be a great way to get that transition smoothed out. Um, but anyways, this is just a, a way to show you my general workflow of creating a beat. Um, it, as a general overview, I start with my instruments, I compose those, the different melodies, and get the harmonies sorted out. And before I even move on to the drums, I have all the instruments playing as I want to. Um, and that doesn't mean I'm completely finished with them, but that means I'm at a point where I'm happy with how they are, and they are uh, more than just one pattern, there's several patterns going. And now once I have the instruments finished up, I'll go ahead and move on to the drums, um, create my verse, my chorus, and any other sections that I need with the drums, and then move on to the bass line, get that sorted out. And then from there, it's just a matter of adding anything else to smooth out the overall project. I'm um, doing a mix down, uh, doing your effects, and whatever you need to sort of polish up the overall sound of your track. Um, so this is just a general tutorial series. Um, if you have any specific questions, feel free to leave them below in any of the videos, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed these videos. Let me know if you have any feedback for future ideas, 
and as always, thanks for watching.